or rather the tagline behind my brand is infinite style. So to us, um, let me just say the earliest childhood memory I have of fashion is going for a Mwenda to the nearest soccer in my hood, where we would collect fabrics and make and make clothes for our dollies. You cannot define what fashion is. Some may say, to me I would say it's my forte, to some you, you would say it's your muse, to other people they would say um, it should it's engaging, it's relevant. But to me, what I would say is fashion is who you are. It's all about individual fashion. So any of the words that relate to your sense of fashion, is it punchy, is it short, is it effortless? To some it comes easy, to some it takes work. Okay. So who do I wear? I wear myself. I wear local designers. I'm a sucker for sucker is from here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for butter. I love Goma. I'm always in Goma shoes because they're comfortable, they're funky. So I always, I always love wearing local designers. Um, why did I decide to get into fashion? I'm a fan of series. So what my mom used to say, okay, we are cute. Just clear my name, sorry. So my mom used to say, I love watching a lot of series, or I love watching a lot of TV, and the guys on TV are paid to do what they do. So I actually watch them for free, so I never get paid to do it. So why not find something to do, and actually get money off it? So I was like, yeah, I can actually turn my passion into profit. So it's fashion, it's what I usually wear on a daily basis, or um, something I would get from the second-hand local market, or everywhere else that all of us shop. There are some who shop at Mr. Price, there are those who shop at Inamakoroga Boutique, you will get it tomorrow. Anywho, I have three distinct lines in my line, in my fashion line. Eco Chic is my baby. Uh, how I started it was, it's, um, it's a collection of bags made from recycled plastic bags. So it's more of, it's an eco-fashion kind of a line. So the, 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 the whole message behind it was for clients to look fashionably green by means of reduced reuse and recycling. So it was more of um, for clients to appreciate a sense of order, natural justice in the world. So eco-chic worked for them. But then I realized um, I couldn't focus on eco-fashion alone. I could actually do stuff that I like doing, say the clothes that I do. So I ventured them into, oh sorry, the product offering for, for Eco Chic is the bags. These are the recycled bags. I do a lot of teas made from recycled t-shirts. And I also do cards. Actually, Christmas okay. is around the corner. I said that you do that. <laughs> they are made from, um, from Kitex. Uh, it's not Kitex, it's nail polish. Nail polish. It's made from nail polish. The art one that you see on the side. So you can have thank you cards, you can have sorry cards, you can have I love you cards, you can have season greeting cards. So that's a chic for you. Nyadi is what I'm wearing today. It's um, customized fashion. I always walk around with my tape measure. And I like, I like sharing designs, um, whether from my Pinterest page. And actually get clients. Uh, it's more of uh, for clients who like uh, fabric made from, um, sorry, African print fabric. So it could be batik, it could be Ankara, it could be Leso, whichever you want. Or whatever you want to make from your fabric, I can actually do it. And then there was urban gentleman. Okay, something I hate in Nairobi streets, walking around Nairobi streets, you see guys in um, oversized suits, or guys in pants that cannot reach the... <laughs> okay, they're called the I don't like the Because I don't know, I like the male form. I like the male form in, in um, not really fitting clothes, Okay, actually the clothes should fit you. They should not be oversized, you get. So I actually like a guy or a man in clothes that actually fit and show off his physique. Okay, that's just me. <laughs> so for this service, yeah, it's actually my best life. It's actually my best life. Um, I, I resize suits for guys. You, you remember I said something about oversized suits? So if you have an oversized suit, suit I resize it for you to make it uh, trendier, slimmer to suit the latest trends. And then I also offer dry cleaning after service. They all seem to like that. So my product offering ranges from trench coats to blazers, to dress shirts, to ties, to trench coats, to jeans, to khaki pants. Yeah, swag versus class. Um, something else, I haven't mentioned my achievements or my milestones. Um, I've had a feature on K24, I've had a feature on I've had a feature on MTV. 
uh, I've had a feature on Ifgal Standard and Business Daily most recently. And the response has been really amazing. Uh, something else I would say, um, I've showcased different exhibitions. Nairobi Fashion Market, I did fall edition last year. I didn't get to do it this year, but I'll do it in March, the spring edition. And then uh, local exhibitions, I've done Sawa Sawa Festival. In two weeks, I'll be doing um, the Naivasha Fashion Weekend at the Enashifai Resort and Spa, that's in two weeks' time. Um, celebrity endorsement, Miss Ziki. Yeah, I like dressing Ziki. Giuliani is my boy. Um, Zazi William Tuba from Central East Africa. Afrology, my friend Wambua, I've dressed him as well. And MC Point Blanc, he's the MC for, he was, an, um, he was a judge for the Nokia Don't Break the Beat competition. My future plans, I would wanna be a household name. Okay, there's no need, okay, I'm not saying there's, there's no need, but there's actually market for what I do here. And guys always like looking good. It's part of what life's about anyway. So clothes will never go out of sale, and guys will still need someone to dress them. So I wanna be a household name. Um, I, love, I love movies, I love series, like I said earlier. And the, my highlights, whenever I watch a series or whenever I watch a movie, most importantly, I want to know the director behind the movie, but most importantly, I want to know the costume manager behind the whole production. So that's why you'll always find me when they roll the credits, I'm always looking for the costume manager, for the whatever. My plans, I would want to infuse fashion into the industry. Uh, there's, there's lots that's lacking in the fashion, there's lots that's lacking in the industry when it comes to fashion. I would give an example. Uh, you could compare our boys in blue NYPD. <laughs> yeah. As in the NYPD guys look so okay hot, and then the our boys in blue look so. Like I mentioned earlier, I love soccer, and part of the things that makes me love soccer so much is seeing the coaches how they are dressed. I love how Guardiola looks; he's always fresh. He's always looking sexy. Sexy is a lot, yeah? He's always looking, <laughs> he always looks on point. But our coaches, I don't know what's up. I think I'll talk to Gorma here. They're <laughs> 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 they need style. And then something that really hurts is um, when I watch the, the Olympics, when the countries are, when they're passing, when, when they're doing their, what is it called? Their parade. Yeah. I don't like okay. what we always wear. We look so bad. Seriously. So I would want to change that. Um, and I would want to set up a fashion in the near future. In conclusion, don't be too predictable, it's too boring. Keep them guessing, keep them surprised when it comes to fashion. And I'm done. Thank you.